right. Hello, everyone. Thanks for tuning in once again to the Queen Amadai Shakur TV show. I'm your host, Queen Amadai Shakur, and this is the third dose of your daily vitamin. So let's get ready to get into it. Now I want to talk about Charleston White. Okay, this man is so nefarious. I cannot stand him. And though sometimes he does speak truth, we cannot negate the fact that he has said stupid things in the past um, about grape. Okay, saying that some women deserve it. He's threatened people's children. He's done all sorts of things, and he's an outright snitch. Okay, so let's get into it, because now uh, he's said that he's going to call the feds, the FBI, on Boosie. <laughs> I find it all so nefarious. Now, here's the thing. Before I play the footage of this fool, uh, I'm going to show you some of his mug shots, because I happen to read on one of the blogs on Instagram uh, someone saying that, oh, he's not a snitch if he tells on Boosie. He's just a regular you know, uh, everyday citizen. He's a law-abiding citizen. I'm sorry, since when? Uh, I have several questions, uh, but clearly he's been arrested before, so that makes him a whole criminal, not a law-abiding citizen. Please pay attention. I'm sorry, there he is, Exhibit A, all right? Make it all make sense. Law-abiding? Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, not so much. And there he is two more times, Okay. So please make it all make sense. This is the same person who bragged, mind you, um, bragged at one point about calling the cops on some black men who were in his neighborhood, minding their own business, okay? And he said that one of them was driving an Escalade. And I think that he was maybe jealous, but he said he called the police on them and one of them went to jail. And he said the reason he did so was because at the end of the day, had he not done so, they would have started Trump. That's what he said. So that's what y'all to pay attention. But now he's trying to go in on Boosie. So let's get into it. I'm going to roll the footage. Be sure to get those likes up. Please don't forget to like and share this video. Thank you in advance. Now let's hear the foolishness. Boosie, I'm going to put your motherfucking ass in jail, nigga. I'm every boy, I'm a boy, you making threats to the promoter? I got a recorded phone conversation with witnesses on the phone saying the promoter is scared for his life, that he got to live in Baton Rouge, that Boosie go send them people to get you. He said he can't have the show because Boosie goes, I said, nigga, I just hired the police. The promoter scary. Scary ass nigga. Yeah, nigga, Boosie is a hoe. And I bet he don't want to get in that boxing ring. See, Boosie, you going to try to send somebody, but you ain't going to do nothing, bitch ass nigga. I'm going to put your bitch ass in jail, nigga. I'm waiting for the FBI. I to send me the right kind of number, nigga, because I'm finna make a report on your motherfucking ass to the people. And you make the man, the man call your name specifically. The promoter specifically says your motherfucking name, little boosie. He implemented you and implicated you. Bitch ass nigga, you finna go to jail. Back to jail. You gonna be on your knees, but them knees gonna be bleeding again. Diabetic freak. <laughs> to laugh because you know <laughs> diabetes is clearly nothing to play with but this fool called Boosie a diabetic freak I absolutely cannot I absolutely cannot now anyway so here's what they said in an article about this idiot first of all please pay attention now he says the promoter told him that Boosie threatened uh, that something was going to happen if he didn't cancel Charleston White or whatever. Well, how does he know that Boosie said that? That's for number one. He didn't hear it come out of Boosie's mouth. How does he know the promoter's not lying? Maybe the promoter just didn't want to have him perform at the end of the day. But I'm going to tell you all this. I would not be at all surprised if they find Charleston White somewhere, somewhere stinking, okay? Because he's making so many enemies and some of these people that he's crossing, I'm not talking about Bootsy at all, but I'm just saying that some of these people that he's out here antagonizing in the streets, uh, threatening to call the police on and saying all kinds of crazy things, he doesn't think that someone somewhere might have it in for him. Anyway, culture critic and online agitator Charleston White has claimed that Bootsy Badass threatened his life and has reportedly made his claim uh, to federal authorities. And here's the thing, him sitting there calling Boosie a hoe and all of that stuff and then saying the promoter is scary after he's the one who says he's going to call the FBI is just wild to me. But let me continue. Now, Charleston White had uh, made allegations on IG on a post saying that uh, he was going to call the FBI because little Boosie was making threats and went on on a whole rant. Said he's waiting on the FBI to send him the right kind of number. 
What kind of number does he need? I mean, can't you Google the FBI's number? What kind of number does he exactly need? I have a whole lot of questions. And I find it also interesting. Now, he's known for his outspoken nature and has stirred up controversy yet again, this time involving rapper Boosie Badass. In a recent Instagram post, White claimed to have contacted the FBI. <laughs> and then they go on to say, adding to the intrigue, White shared screenshots of text messages in which he claimed to have witnesses to Boosie allegedly threatening his life. These screenshots, however, offered little clarity or a substantiation uh, <laughs> to support his claims. It's probably lying, okay? Now, in a video accompanying his Instagram post, White further elaborated on the situation, alleging that Boosie had made threats to a promoter. According to White, he possesses recorded phone conversations uh, with witnesses attesting to the promoter's fear uh, for his safety. He also asserted that the promoter felt compelled to relocate to Baton Rouge due to fears that Boosie would send in individuals to, to harm him. Here's the thing. If that is even true, which I doubt it is, but even if it is true or was true, why is it that he's the one calling the FBI then? Just like I said, he never said that he heard Boosie say any threats to him himself. He says the promoter told him this, and he says that the promoter is in fear of his life and has moved to Baton Rouge. <laughs> well, if that's the case, shouldn't the promoter be called the FBI if anyone is going to call them? Charleston White is nothing but an agitator and a clout chaser, and he does these things, goes to these rants, says all this controversial and crazy stuff, and starts all this trouble with people who are clearly not even bothering or thinking about him most of the time. He does this just for clicks and views and for clouts, okay? And hasn't he all but told us this before? At the end of the day, what he's not going to do is make me fall out with Boosie. That's what he's not going to do, okay? And for the foolish people who look like me who are sitting there saying, oh, you know, he should be calling the police if he feels threatened. If he felt so threatened and was so concerned for his own safety, now would he really ask yourself? Here's where logic, reason, and rationale come in. If he really was so concerned about his safety and so worried that someone might do something to him, or that his life might be in some sort of imminent danger, would he still be going around antagonizing people, keeping up mess, saying all sorts of foolish things? Would he really be doing that? Just starting and provoking and instigating situations with people. Would he really be doing any of that if he were so afraid for his own safety? Of course he would. So Charles White's not afraid. He's just a cloud chaser. That's what it is. He does this because he knows that there's some people who look like me who are absolutely going to be there for it. They're going to defend him no matter what he does. They're going to sit there and take his side. And at the end of the day, some of these people actually think that he's smart. They actually think that he's smart because, you know, sometimes he will say things that are true. That doesn't mean anything. That doesn't make him smart. Okay? He will sometimes say things as if he's revealing or exposing something. The only time he's exposing something or revealing something to anyone is for people that are too dumb to do research themselves. That's all that is. Okay? The people who are clearly walking around as the sheeple. He's not exposing anything to those of us with good common sense and who exercise critical thinking skills. We don't look at him as some community leader. We don't look at him as somebody who's telling us things that are in our best interest. We look at him as a liar, a troublemaker, an instigator, and a clout chaser, and a snitch. That's how we see him, because that's exactly what he is, in my opinion. Uh, please pay attention. So with that all been said, for those of you who continue to prop this man up, who continue to follow him blindly, okay, and then who sit there and defend him when he does and says these crazy things that he says, and please pay attention. Doesn't he always say these same things about people who look like him? Isn't this the same man who draped himself in a Confederate flag? Isn't this the same man who had on a Confederate flag, okay? sitting there saying that he didn't feel comfortable around people who look like him. Isn't that what he said? He's the same man who said that. So for those of you who look like me, who are sitting there propping this man up and condoning his BS, how does it make you feel? Or do you even know? But how does it make you feel when he says that he's uncomfortable around people who look like you? Okay, I'm going to need y'all to make that make sense. With that all being said, Royals, please drop me a comment to let me know what you think about all of this comparisonness. Until next time, beloveds, I will talk to you all again soon.